I'm here alongside Stuart Lewis. After 40 minutes with nine men, how are your legs? Um, yep, yeah, slightly uh, tired, a um, little bit heavy, um, but no, reflecting on it, it's a, a massive point and the spirit we showed uh, that last 40 minutes, as you say, that's, uh, that's probably a testament to how far we've come since, what was it, September, October time. So, um, yeah, great spirit from the boys and uh, 40 long, <laughs> long, hard minutes, but uh, worth everything because in this uh, running of points, that point could uh, turn out to be massive for us. We've got to go. We've got to look at the incident just after the hour mark. Dover had two men sent off. What, what was your view of things? Because you, you're in the thick of the action. Yeah, I was. I think in them sort of situations, it's hard to pick out who sort of does what and who who throws what hands or pushes or or anything like that. I think their centre half was in the, the middle of it, um, and obviously Kevin and um, Beds have been sent off. But it was hard. To, there's so much going on in there. It was hard to really pinpoint what the uh, what the actual sort of offences were, but obviously I suppose I think the club and, and the manager obviously look at it and um, if if it isn't um, what it, what he sent them off for, then hopefully it gets rescinded because um, we need everyone in the next uh, 16 games. At that point, you can't do anything. Once the referee's shown his his red cards, you can't do anything. What then goes through your mind when you look at the clock? You've got half an hour. Then you had another 10 minutes to, to, to yeah. play with nine. What, what goes through your mind at that point? I think you obviously, as much as you want to win the game, you have to. The mindset just thinks, right, this is this is we've got to get a point now. Um, and obviously, the experience of uh, Mitch Walker, Dowie, Bruns, myself, you just, we've got to get people around us. And I think it was sort of send them wide, um, sort of let them have that wide and, and, and stay compact. But it's hard because it's, it's constant attack after attack. And sometimes you do things like that in training, and, and, and you, you've got to be sort of compact and make blocks. And um, you might have to sort of make covers for people. But I think, as I say, people who was here today would see that. This this group of boys don't go down easily. We uh, we've got to be to beat us. It's it's not easy, and um, that showed such such great spirit. Like you say, real manful defending, <laughs> last ditch defending yeah. at times, wasn't it? Yeah, you have to make them probably them extra block or have to give that extra few yards, and it is hard because obviously you're getting pulled around the pitch and and things like that. But them, like, as you say, them last ditch tackles, and and obviously Mitch Walker was 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 really good in goal too and um, yeah across across the, the nine men at the end and, and the subs that come on um, w I think we, we've absolutely worked our, our socks off and, and deserve and deserve the point in my opinion and it keeps the unbeaten run going for, for, for this year as well yeah the manager said at the end one in ten so I think we keep we keep sort of knocking them point to come on another point and, and let's get to that 50 and, and, and get past it. But as I say, I think when you look at Wrexham away and then Bromley at home uh, over two matches, and if you'd have said four points from them two games, I would have, I'd have bit your hand off for that. So um, massive game next week away at Haven and uh, the boys will be absolutely buzzing for that one. Um, it won't be like, oh, it's a big, for us, we can't wait. And um, let's make it seven from nine. Excellent. Well done today. Cheers, mate. Thank you.